The internet is running wild today because, well, Nintendo is expected to drop, at least rumored to drop, a Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase tomorrow. And so a lot of people thought that there would be an announcement today. But before we dive into that, what we actually got instead this morning is an announcement for four brand new costumes for Princess Peach Showtime. Now, there was a little bit of a leak from this last night, but... I didn't cover that because I figured I'd just wait for the trailer to drop, and they dropped it this morning. They introduced figure skater Peach, who uses her practical poise to take to the rink and put her foes on thin ice. You can join a dazzling performance filled with quick time spins and jumps and skate around the competition to help your fellow dancers. They also introduced a dashing thief Peach, who can traverse, infiltrate, and swing through this daring performance with various gadgets and sneak by the defenses of the thieves of the Sour Bunch. Embrace the thrills and charms of espionage and make your dramatic escape. Then they also introduced Mermaid Peach, being beneath the sea won't stop Peach from carrying a tune. Use her magical voice to control schools of fish and harmonize with an aquatic orchestra. Direct these friendly fish to reveal pathways and help solve puzzles. And then finally, they revealed Mighty Peach. Look towards the sky. It's Mighty Peach. Go from hero to superhero and defend the locos with the powerful punches and superhuman strength. Fly, fling objects, and fight enemies in an action-filled spectacle in the sky and on the ground. Look, guys, the trailer looks really good. I gotta say, I'm not 100% sold that this isn't just a giant collection of mini games masking itself as a game, but we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, I want reviews to come out. I want impressions, maybe a demo, because right now, I think it's a really interesting idea of doing this whole stage show thing, but also could just be literally a front for it being a bunch of Peach mini games. We'll have to wait and see. That being said, obviously that's not why you guys are probably watching this video, even though it's in the headline. Instead, you're probably watching it because you're disappointed at the moment or confused, or maybe even angry that Nintendo has not announced a Nintendo Direct for tomorrow. In fact, maybe you're even decrying that all the rumor people must be fake. And I understand your sentiment because, look, we just want announcements from Nintendo. Even a partner showcase to many is better than absolutely nothing. But what I want to remind you of, and I've been talking about this for days, if not weeks, is that when it's a partner showcase or any sort of Nintendo Direct Mini, because they call them Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcases, that guess what? They're not always pre-announced. And a lot of people just say you're full of it. They always pre-announce Directs. That is not actually true. In fact, let me show you some proof instead of just telling you. Here is back in March of 2020, where you can clearly see here at Nintendo Life, a Nintendo Direct Mini has just been shadow dropped. Now, this was back in March of 2020. This was a fairly beefy Nintendo Direct Mini, but you'll notice, oh, it's not a partner showcase. So, you know, I, I, I guess that just debunks everything there because, hey, you're, you, you said partner showcases are shadow dropped. Uh, that wasn't a partner showcase. Well, okay, how about this one? Uh, back in October 28th of 2020, here's a Nintendo Direct Mini Shadow Drop. Oh, it's a partner showcase. So no, folks, Necrofilipa Lima said there would be a Direct tomorrow. He didn't know what kind it was. Nate the Hate said that it would be a Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. So absolutely, this could still be tomorrow. It could also just be a Nintendo Direct Mini, as you saw any sort of mini uh, could be shadow drop. Now, I understand you might go, well, that was the pandemic year and things were different. Look, I understand, but Nintendo doesn't do a lot of Nintendo Direct Minis in the first place. I know you could say the last Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase was actually June of 2022, and they did pre-announce it. And look, there is a chance they still pre-announce this one. I want to be clear. They don't give minis the same sort of hype that they give their general directs. General directs are always announced at like 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. Eastern. That's not always what they do with minis. Sometimes minis, if you actually go look at the ones that have been announced, were announced at night, like the night before. They don't always announce them in the morning. Sometimes they announce them with their last tweet of the day, and sometimes they don't announce them at all. So I'm, I just want to throw out there that I obviously have no personal knowledge on if we're getting any sort of Nintendo Direct at all. The assumption coming into February was 
hey, they always do directs in February. We're clearly going to get our direct. And then obviously we had some fake rumor people. And then we had our, you know, actual insiders and Necro Felipe and Nate the Hate kind of sort of, I don't want to say hype this up, but just tell us what they know. And now everyone's in a panic today because, oh my gosh, they're advertising Princess Peach Showtime and they're not announcing. Can you just announce it? Uh, this gets into a question that happened on the the live stream last night, actually. We had a very short live stream last night, but I wanted to talk about this further today because a question was asked, what can these companies do to alleviate some of the leaks out there and maybe deflate a little bit of the false promises that set people up like today? And while it might not be a false promise, we might actually get it tomorrow, it led to people expecting an announcement today. What could Nintendo and these companies do? Well, when it comes to Nintendo, I have one thing to say, and this is something that I don't understand why Nintendo does this, but this is what they always do. This is how they choose to build hype and market. I don't know why they always wait till the day before or the day of to talk about directs. Can we uh, just be have an honest conversation? As a gamer and as obviously someone who covers Nintendo, I don't understand why they don't give us longer heads up for this stuff. We get longer heads up on state of plays. We get long heads up on Xbox directs. Why can't we get like a week to two weeks notice on an upcoming direct, even if it's a partner showcase, right? Uh, why? why, why, why do we always have to have either 24 hours or less to get excited over this stuff? I, I don't really understand why Nintendo does it this way. Maybe Nintendo likes all the hype and the fans and the leaks. Maybe they're just really into that and they like that the internet does that and keeps Nintendo Direct trending every day when one's not even announced. So maybe, just maybe, Nintendo thinks they're actually getting more attention by not announcing it and just having people expect one and buy into leaks. So maybe that's what Nintendo's logic is. And to be fair, if they announced the Nintendo Direct two weeks early, Nintendo Direct wouldn't go trending every single day, right? You wouldn't see it at the top. You wouldn't see people chatting about it every single day because guess what? What happens with Nintendo Directs when they get announced? Oh, it's a mini. Oh, it's a partner showcase. Then all we're talking about is what? Predictions? And then we're done. Instead, we get to debate for days and days and days and weeks and weeks if it's going to happen. And I know some of you guys hate that, but it's one of those things that Nintendo themselves could alleviate. I don't know that it's a major benefit to them to keep all of us chatting like this without just telling us what's going on. And uh, I, maybe they'd actually have much higher viewers on their directs, even higher than normal. They already get crazy views if they would just give us a longer run-up. I mean, they do it for E3, right? Back when they were doing E3, you know, all the way back in 2019 and before, they'd let us know like a week ahead of time about their presentation and what time it was going to be at. Granted, we always kind of knew it was always going to be Tuesday morning right before uh, the show floor opened up because that's when Nintendo always went. So we sort of already knew, but Nintendo would at least announce it ahead of time. It won't just be 24 hours early. So in the end, I just think we have to sit back and realize that Nintendo just keeps operating this way because I guess it keeps working for them this entire generation. So it is what it is. Uh, are we going to get a Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase tomorrow or just a normal Nintendo Direct Mini? Don't know. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see when uh, tomorrow arrives because if it's going to be tomorrow, I suspect they'll start talking about it, if not late tonight, as like the final announcement of the day, or they'll start talking about it tomorrow. When, I, when we say shadow drop, by the way, we literally mean shadow drop. Like they just drop it. It's not a live stream or anything. They just, here you go. Here's the many. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. So we're going to be on our toes tomorrow. We don't know when or what time it might get shadow dropped, if it gets shadow dropped at all. Could be early in the morning, could be in the afternoon. We don't know. That's the thing about shadow drops from Nintendo. I, I tried to look if there was a pattern of the time at which they shadow drop, and there doesn't seem to be a pattern on the shadow drops. They just happen whenever they happen. So uh, we're going to have to be on our toes tomorrow, and then if it doesn't happen tomorrow, whew, we're going to have quite an interesting podcast episode where we talk about... Uh, leaks and rumors and maybe how unreliable they are or we're going to be hey if it does happen not only excited to talk about what happens in it also talking about what this means for all those march rumors for switch 2 anyways guys i have no idea what's happening but you got some princess peach showtime news today put it in the headline for you for all you guys to say all we ever talk about is rumors you're right we did in this video however we also give you some real news so hopefully you enjoyed that thank you for being here and i'll catch you in the next video